Hey guys, it's Thunder Splash. In this episode, we're going to be talking about how to collect any object in the game like a magnet. Alright, let's get into it. First, we're going to right click, look for Blueprint Class, and then click on Actor. Then we're going to relabel it to Cube Pickup. Open it up. Now we're going to click on add and we're going to look for cube. After that, we're going to resize it and reposition it. Then we're going to add a box collision. We're going to resize this one and reposition it. Next, we're going to go back to Cube, and for Collision, we're going to click No Collision. Go to Add, and we're going to look for Rotating Movement. Now we're going to adjust the speed. And then hit Simulation. Alright, once we're happy with that, we're going to hit Compile and then go to event graph. All right, so now we're gonna hit box collision. Look for add event and on component begin overlap. After that, click on other actor and look for a third person character. Next, we're gonna right click and look for add timeline. Open it up, click on flow track, right click, add key, and make sure the time and the value is zero. After that, we'll right click again, add key, and the time and value should be one. Make sure compile's good. Go to the event graph. Right click and look for set world location for cube. After that, we're going to right click again and type in delay. We'll make the duration 0.4. And then we're going to right click again and look for destroy actor. After that, we're going to go back to the third person character, right click and look for Get Actor Location. Next, we'll grab the cube. Look for Get World Location. And then after that, we're gonna look for Lerp Vector. Make sure it's connected, and then connect get actor location to the B value. After that, make sure alpha is connected to the new track on the timeline. All right, let's just inspect our work. So now we need to make sure the new location is connected to return value. Hit compile. All right, and now we just need to drag the blueprint onto the scene. Alright, so real quick, sorry if it seems a little laggy, I'm trying out new monitors, so please bear with me. Um, worst case scenario, it'll be fixed by the next video. So anyway, let's continue adding cubes to the scene. Hit play. 
All right, and there you go. As you can see, when the character runs across the cube, the cube follows the character, it disappears. The cube's also spinning as well, which is pretty cool. All right, we're gonna try it one more time. All right, very nice. All right, and now we're going to add a few more cubes to make it look a little bit better. All right, and that is how you make a collectible object in the game act like a magnet towards the player. Hey guys, if you like these type of videos, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell, share this video, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Later.